Inkata Freedom Party founder Mangul Sutu Butelezi is slamming media reports regarding his meeting with President Cyril Ramaphosa. Butelezi says the meeting was meant to discuss the ongoing matter of the Zulu kingship and not coalitions between the ANC and IFP. How important is government support on traditional leaders? To discuss this, uh, Siawu Kele Ngubane, Professor of African Languages at the University of KZN, joins us now via Zoom. Professor, thank you very much uh, for giving us some of your time uh, this evening. Before we get to the issue of support for traditional affairs, let's talk about what possibly went wrong here. Um, a meeting between President Cyril Ramaphosa and uh, founder of the IFP, but also um, uh, Mangosutu Butelezi in his position as a keeper of the Zulu nation, as it were. Uh, why did this go so awry in the media, do you think? Yeah, I think this was a closed meeting in a private meeting, and nobody knows exactly why they had that meeting. But as you have said, uh, the Prince uh, Butele is, is the prime uh, minister of the Zulu nation. So one of the significance of the meeting was to discuss uh, the issues of the uh, disputes that arose in the Zulu uh, family, royal Zulu family. And the new traditional uh, and cohesion leadership act allows the president to intervene in the disputes and claims uh, in the traditional leadership. So I think he had a right uh, all the rights to discuss that matter with the pre president. And the president has also an obligation to intervene in these matters. So Prince Mango Sutubutelezi, having said in his statement that having discussed the matter, uh, and I quote here, we noted that nothing can be done until current litigation is finalized. The cases in this regard will come before the court on the 6th and 7th of December. Uh, so that matter uh, not being able to be discussed thoroughly or concluded, as it were, between the Prince and uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa. Let's get to the issue at hand now, uh, the support of government uh, for traditional issues. Uh, do you think there is enough um, open communication from the side of the government on their support of or stance on certain issues within the traditional communities in South Africa? I would say there is an open communication due to the mechanism that the government has created uh, right from our constitution, 1996, uh, so, uh, Constitution of South Africa, Chapter 11 recognizes the traditional leadership. And also, the government has formed uh, some structures and mechanisms that uh, validate this communication. We have traditional affairs uh, department, national department, and also the provincial uh, departments. We have uh, traditional councils, we have House of Traditional Leaders, and also we have the Commission on Traditional Leadership Disputes and Claims. So all, all those are in line with the strengthening of democracy. If you refer to the National Development uh, uh, Plan, it do envisage that uh, the, there is a strategy, a development strategy, that would see the rural economy being developed and the societies in the rural areas being transformed in, in, in the quest of uh, unity amongst the people. So it is very important uh, for the government to communicate with the people in the rural areas. And it's part of nation building and also it speaks to the social cohesion. Issues pertaining specifically to succession within the Zulu Kingdom have been in the media uh, a lot over the last year or more. Um, we know there is a lot of litigation currently ongoing with regards to the succession debate. Um, that poses possibly problems for President Cyril Ramaphosa in terms of showing open support for one candidate or the either, or not? 
Uh, no, 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 not exactly. I don't think it will pose any any critical issue in the in that regard because the issue of the dispute and succession dispute uh, is lies within the family. It is the family or the royal family who has got to resolve these disputes. And only if they can't resolve that, uh, the president can come in and intervene. But I don't think if he, he can entertain the, the, the names of people that have been raised, because the family is raising those names. And it is the family that has to decide exactly who should be ascending the throne. So. It is not a matter of government to take a decision on that uh, on that matter because this dispute is amongst the family, the family that is divided at the moment. I think what is important for the family is to reconcile and speak in one voice, and that does not affect government per se. But the gov government has made an initiative by establishing a task team uh, that is led by the former Premier of KwaZulu Natal, Willis um, Kuno, to, to intervene and mediate between the members of the family. But at the end, it is the family that has to take a decision. So the discussions is just to facilitate discussions and get the truth of the matter of where the disputes are coming from and then uh, interpret those uh, 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 discussions and analyze them and make a recommendation. They, they can only make a recommendation, but they cannot decide for the royal family. In terms of support in the public eye, uh, often in these instances, uh, factionalism plays a big role in, in these situations of succession, uh, support for one candidate over the other, um, and possibly in, in terms of how the media spins it. Uh, is it important, or is, what other significance could there be behind this meeting uh, between Prince Mangosutu Putselezi, Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation, and uh, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa? Is it, is it significant in terms of the timing as well? Yes, I think it's significant. Why I'm saying that is because it has taken a long time, because you will recall that earlier, after the demise of uh, the late uh, His Majesty, there was a, a concern that there should, no, that there should be no vacuum, because the nation wants to be led, the nation wants to have uh, Isilo, and therefore I think it's a concern for, for, for the president that this matter should be resolved amicably. Well, thank you very much for your time and for speaking to us. That was Professor of African Languages at the University of KZN, Siawukele Ngubane.